Buddy Brian back here with a uh, quick look at Caspa. Happy Sunday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, we're going to take a look at this chart here. We got some interesting things going on here. All right, if we take a look, I must have like a, a falling wedge type pattern forming out in here. All right, um, we have completed an ABC. I know the last video uh, we were looking for an uh, ABC pattern to finish. Let me go back over this other chart here and zoom in. All right, in here on the hourly. This is the one we were talking about. Right in here, okay? We were looking for uh, this move right here to happen. Let me get this off here a second. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. All right, we were looking for the A, which we got. We got the B wave back up here to a 702. All right, that was our blue line we put here. Remember, we put these blue lines here looking for a target. Uh, we came up here, and then what happened was this C leg ended up going sideways in here. All right, so that's how it ended up playing out. Uh, we were looking for the B up here, the C to end up down here at 11.5. Well, it ended up going sideways in here, and we got a B leg. So the ABC correction is complete. All right, now if we take a look here, uh, we could possibly have a wave one, two started up here. All right, now if we go back over here uh, to this bigger, uh, bigger chart I have in here, let's go out on a four hour. Uh, let's go back out in a daily. That's a little bit easier to see. All right, you can see the. Uh, 30 and the 60 day moving average we're actually caught right between them two right now all right uh we have the uh, 30 on the bottom right now and the 60 is on top and then we actually are using that as support you can see it bouncing between them both i would expect to pull back down here quite honestly um right back down to the 618702 and i would expect a bounce from there all right we have some rsi's getting a little high here uh, right back down. Let me pull this over so you can see the prices. Too much going on in there. There we go. Yeah, back down here to about 11.3 to 11 cents. Right down in this range. Um, and I would expect a bounce, uh, a bounce out of here. More than likely this 618 right at 11.3. All right, now, like I said, we got this massive wedge forming on this thing. You can see the upper resistance here. It is it, it is like a, a falling wedge, not an ideal falling wedge. Uh, but you can see here, it's a falling pattern, all right? Which, that's what you want when you're looking for breakouts. You don't want a rising type pattern. Uh, you want something falling like this is here, all right? Now, if we look at the RSIs here on CASPA, I just truly believe this thing is... is is gonna is ready to do it here any day you know if you look at this here okay we have an ABC corrected down to here all right right down here is a bottom ABC right inside here uh, a wave B wave C wave in case you can't see it all right right inside this wedge um, and we've possibly started a wave one up a wave two retracement you know, we'll just wave three break out of here. Well, we have, you know, if we come over here and take a look, we got the daily RSI right at the top here. But if you take a look at the three day, the three day is heading straight up, okay? Uh, the five day, once again, just turning up a 21 and a 12. And then you got your weekly uh, just turning up itself, all right? So, Definitely some momentum heading towards the upside here for Caspa. I know this has been a brutal, uh, what, since uh, February. We've been drugged down and down and down. And uh, I know it's been an absolute stomping for sure. Uh, no question about it. Now you can see these Elliott waves. Um, this big overall picture here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, well, what usually comes in after five waves up, you usually get that ABC pattern, and then you continue on your way up with a uh, start all over of one, two, three, four, five. All right, now there is no ABC correction in here. It's on a weekly, or uh, we do have it on the daily uh, right here, this ABC pattern right here. Okay, and that was after this big, this fifth wave right here. You had three four five now that was the uh of the bigger move here all right so we do have that corrective structure 
which would indicate a bottom all right and and a possible move towards the upside here all right now that daily like i said is at the top i would expect this pull back down here um you know to a six one roughly a six one eight retracement area right in this box down here and i would expect a bounce to happen after there now that that typical area that area we've talked about that 12 9 13 cent area if you come out in weekly and take a look here all right first off let's get these lines off here all right if you come out on this weekly chart uh, that 12 9 is right here okay and you can see why it's such big resistance right through here okay let's make that a two so you can see it a little bit better 12 9 right over here on the side right hand side that is all these weekly closes close 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 these were all support all right we have lost that you can see here this was uh sticks out pretty good when you go out on a weekly and look at these things you know much better and if i could ask you to please hit the like and subscribe guys i'd appreciate that before i forget you have support up here it ended up losing that resistance resistance it ended up doing an rs flip up here turned into back into support and now we've lost it again and it's became a resistance area all right you do have a wick up through here but that's not good enough obviously we're gonna have to take that 13 cents out been preaching that for weeks we take the 13 out that is a very very good start okay and then if we put a fib on here that's 618 and that's 702 obviously uh, you all know from watching watching my channel that is the zone that uh, um, is either gonna you know get us up to 25 cents right through here you know if we get the breakout here which i i suspect is absolutely coming all right then that shot up to 24 and a half to 25 cents um but this could you know this could this could start any day yeah it, it really really could i mean this weekly rsi every time the weekly rsi has reset okay it's it's not uh it's not a false um you know a false uh, signal here okay right over here it was reset look what happened fire up okay over here it was reset look what happened a run up okay if we go back on this chart every single time um you know you can see here it didn't make it the whole way to the bottom you had this move here that one that right there you had that pump there this one here when it hit the bottom you had this move up here all right so it's not a false signal you know and, and trading on the weekly or the higher time frames weekly and the monthly are, are pretty darn uh, accurate okay the smaller time frames are where you have a lot of chop okay that's why it's so hard it's so hard hard to uh you know leverage trade all right you have so much chop in there uh if you go on the rsis like on a one hour you know if we zoom in here on this one hour look at all this chop down here on the bottom okay you just cannot a hundred percent depend on the rsi then okay because you get uh all kinds of false signals i mean look how look at look how dirty not dirty but uh look how confusing this rsi is compared to a weekly look how smooth that is all right even a daily is isn't too bad but you can see once again you get you got a lot of chop on that rsi on here all right so some good things is showing up here on this chart like i said that abc is complete we have a bottom here abc on the daily after the fifth wave up here we got our correction which should mark a bottom and uh watch for that pullback to the 618 area here let me give you a, a target for that again all right it's probably going to lose this support here I, I would definitely imagine okay it's from the swing low to the swing high let's pull this over right over to there you know watch that 11.3 for a bounce let's take a look at the crypto bubbles here real quick and uh over there on uh 
a couple other things here. Not a whole lot going on. All right, you got Rune up five and a half percent core. Uh, even the volume today is is pretty far down. If we come over here in Coin Glass, look at that sixty five and a half billion. That's low. Um, and yeah, that, that's that's very low. Let's click on it. I don't know if they have a chart for this or not. Um, no, they don't. I thought maybe they would for volume. I mean, we could look that up. But uh, open interest is dropping 54.6 billion. That's great. You know, once that gets up, we always need a smack down. And, uh, you know, it was up towards 80, you know, when we got this uh, last correction. So 24 hour liquidations, 47.5 million. That's it. And that's down 7.3%. And you have more longs than shorts out there right now. All right, so um, maybe this open interest will start creaking back up there again. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But over here on uh, Caspa, uh, if we take a look here, not a whole lot going on with the uh, the wallets. I took a look at that before uh, before the video, uh, so we're not really gonna to cover that. Look at the 24-hour volume for Caspa, 21 and a half million. Uh, market cap 2.9 billion uh, of course the price is at 0.1227 okay at 21 and a half million volume is just way down of course it's sunday you know uh mother's day so you, you probably uh just expect that and if we take a look at bitcoin here real quick let's see what's going on with it come over here and it's up 480 bucks for the day you know, go out in the daily chart here. Boy, if you hold G, uh, GFAL, Games for a Living, um, that thing is getting down into the target range. Um, I'm going to show you that. Look at Bitcoin back test in this breakout. Look at this. Perfect right on that trend line. That's probably about a 618 retracement. Let's take a look and see. Pretty close, you know. Could pull down a little bit deeper. Could bounce right from here. You know, we we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. But uh, could definitely bounce from here, no question about it. Bitcoin is right, uh, right on the retest of this breakout, this white uh, resistance level right here. Uh, hold on one second, let me show you. You got your white resistance line right down through here. You have a breakout, you have a retest. It retested it all down through here. Almost lost it numerous times. But uh, you can see a nice retest here. Now, Bitcoin on the daily. Uh, bearish is 60 and a 66. Kind of going pretty much sideways right there. All right, a three day. Look at that. 11 and a 13 at the bottom. All right, your five day is it flat right on the bottom, ready to go and your weekly uh the weekly is just about reset all right we uh did that uh in three hours uh this thing should be at the bottom it's at a 1.5 and an 8.5 right now you got three hours to go with this thing and uh and bitcoin could be reset you know you'd have the uh three day the five day and weekly all on the bottom all right and then your daily uh would probably turn back up so bitcoin could get going here you know uh once again looks like an abc right here correction a corrective wave in here for bitcoin uh, right through here a b c and uh and we'll see we'll see if this thing gets going a big sign like i've been saying that sixty seven thousand dollars right up here uh, this green line right up here, that's 67,000. That would take out this 618 right here on this on this B leg. Um, and uh, that, would, that would prove a lot to me. All right, thank you so much, guys. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, let's see if we can get Caspa going here real quick. And once again, GFAL, I do want to show you that. Look at this. I put this target zone on here, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And the reason I did that, if you zoom out on GFAL, especially on a weekly here, look at this. Sticks out pretty good. All right, take a uh, Fibonacci, put it on here. Look at that, right up. There's a 702, here's a 618. Um, if you pull it down on top of the 702, 
that puts you right on top of this box. If you pull down to the 618, that puts you at the bottom of the box. That's why I made the box that size. So it, it either has bottomed, which would be that 702. Look at that, right dead nuts right on there bouncing right off of it so if you're looking to get gfal not financial advice not a financial advisor guys but it is there it is in the buy zone i am i have stacked my bags with gfal i believe 100 percent that this thing is uh you know this is at least a dollar token okay it's at two cents right now that's a 50x um i think they have a total supply of uh what is it 10 billion i believe 10 billion let's take a look real quick you know if you're not in, um, invested in GFAO go check it out you know the last bull run um, all the new stuff is what really really crushed it out there um, no question about it you know a lot of the new coins uh, did very very well the games for a living um, always look at your total supply yeah 10 billion 10 billion all right this thing could hit two or three bucks easily and easily no question about it you have cardano with 30 billion that hit three dollars it's probably going to 12 bucks you have xrp with a hundred billion and it, it hit three dollars that thing is probably going to 10 to 12 bucks all right so uh, you don't think that uh, gfal with 10 billion a 34 million dollar market cap this thing has to do a 3x just to hit a hundred million dollar market cap uh 30x just to hit one billion okay um so uh you know if you do a 30x on price that would get you the 60 cents all right um you don't think this thing can hit you know i believe 100 percent in my heart this this thing will at least hit one dollar okay uh, like I said, that's a 50x. No financial advice, guys. Do your own research with that stuff. If you're interested in that, go check it out. If not, that's fine. Have a great day, guys. I uh, thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it more than you know. And uh, have a great day, everybody.